going to be a big weekend ahead for the shots, isn't it? Yeah, we're all looking forward to it. Obviously, a month ago, we were sitting here before we went to Swindon. Um, and I think nobody had said the dressing room would have given us a chance to have won at Swindon and we all know what happened up there. Um, but this is a, you know, it, it's, that, that doesn't mean anything, it, it, you know, it's gone. Um, we're playing the top team in the division, uh, the AFL2, so we expect nothing but a tough game. But we're, we're looking forward to it, it's a, it's a free hit for us, you know, we've, we've finished the last league game really, really well. Um, and having not had, being able to play another league game for three weeks because of the cup competitions that we're in, and it's a, it's a free hit and we're looking forward to it. Let's talk about our opponents briefly because obviously they're doing so well in the league above this season. It's, we say every week, don't we, there's never an easy game in football, but this certainly isn't going to be an easy one. Oh no, I mean, listen, they're a top outfit. I think their manager's done a, an unbelievable job there. Um, and it's no fluke, he was very good when he was at Hartlepool United also. So for, you know, I've come across David on a couple of occasions um, and his teams play really attacking. Um, positive football, so it'll be. I think it'll be a really good game. I really do. I, all I, I wish for is that we, as a group of people, give the best version of ourselves that we can and represent the, the football club and the town the best we can. And I'm sure the lads will do that. And if we do that, and we have spells in the game where we get on top, I'll, I'll enjoy them. Um, but I, I know it's going to be a tough game. It's something that will hopefully spur the lads on. Is the fantastic support we've seen? As you know, we're closing in on four thousand tickets already as, at the time of filming this. So it's going to be brilliant to see such a packed EBB stadium, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, they, they make the shots make enough noise when there's two and a half thousand. So when there's going to be four and a half odd, you know, I'm really looking forward to seeing. It's, it's I think this football club is is been craving for something to get on get on board with, and and I think we have. We, we we're all going in the same direction. That's from the board above me to the through my support staff, the players and the fans have jumped on board, and I, and I just it's a great place to be at the moment. So I'm really I'm looking forward to a really good atmosphere, um, a cork and game and. Well, hope is to be in the hat for the next round. And it'd be wrong to not talk about the last round. It was such a brilliant day, wasn't it? Obviously, it's a side in, in Stockport's league, so we know that we can go and, and beat a side in that division. Maybe we won't see as many goals this time, but you know, it, it, it's, it's got to give the lads a bit of confidence knowing that they've already done that this season. Well, yeah, I mean, they have to draw on that experience. Like, like you said, the, the Stockport County are at the same level as Swindon Town, and there's only about six or seven places between them. So. Um, but you know, the cup, the FA Cup is about 150 odd years old, and it's taken 150 odd years for somebody who's not a football league team to score seven goals against another team. So that's not going to happen again. I wouldn't have thought very in my lifetime, um, and I hope it doesn't go the other way. So we might see 11 goals, but I think we'll see goals. I think both teams have got goals in them, um, and both will want to try and stop them going in that end. So, like I said, it's it's. We, we are very strongly second favourites in a two-horse race, and rightly so. They, they, their season is, is near enough where they want it to be in terms of the top of the, the pile as we go towards Christmas, um, and nobody falls to the top of the league. You've got to be good. Do you have to do much talking to the lads about the occasion, or, or is there some good heads in the dressing room that just understand that? Well, I think that the, the dressing room and the training round at this moment in time is a really good place to be. There's a real buzz about the place. The, lad, the lads are on the top of their game. Um, the health is returning to a lot of them in terms of we've had a few out for quite a long time, but with a bit of luck, we might see one or two of the faces involved on Sunday. So um, I don't think you need motiv if you need motivating for a game like this, there's something wrong with you. But uh, we all we're in the game to be involved in, in participate in games like this. And the hardest thing for me would be to disappoint one or two people who will want to play to start. Um, but I, you know, like we did at Swindon, we we. We'll have a full quarter of people, you know, nine on the bench and eleven on the pitch. And whoever starts the game will be given their role, and whoever replaces anybody who comes off the pitch will will do the same. And I've no doubt, as long as we give the best version of ourselves, we we will certainly give them a game. It's slightly off topic, a new face on the training ground this week, Ollie Gray. We haven't had a chance to talk mm -hmm. about him since him, him signing. So how's he settled in? Yeah, he's settled in. He settled like snow, to be honest with you. He's he's. Um, I can see straight away he's a he's a character where a little bit like a Josh Stokes in terms of he's jumped up levels, but his his mindset is all about football. He, he seems very dedicated lad. Um, I got to thank the club that we took him from in Willing Rovers, who were excellent in the, the way they handled the situation. We, they actually allowed him to come and train with us for a week uh, to have a closer look. He had he also had a closer look at us, um, and then when the deal came around, it was very very easily done. So. Thanks to them, um, and listen. I'm sure the shots will. 
join me and, and wish him all the very, very best in his, his not cup tied. And something that he brings is extra competition for places. But having spoken to a, f a fair few of the players this season, every time I've spoken to them about it, they've they've actually been some like they've been praising the competition. Mm. It's something that they think is a good thing. Is, so are you happy to see that in your dressing room? Yeah, I mean, I've read a couple of things this week. Is I've we brought him in because we're going to lose one or two, and I can categorically say that ain't going to happen, and not not on my watch. So um, listen, we won't stand in people's way if it's right for everybody, but it has to be right for everybody. And at this moment in time. The, the players that we want under longer contracts are under longer contracts. There's nobody that I'm worried about losing at any stage. So, you know, it's a side issue to the, the match, but it's we know we know what we want, we know who we want to be part of that. And there's certainly work underway as to, to try to secure one or two or three or four of the lads who are coming out of contract at the end of this season to, to sign new deals. And if they don't, then my plan will have to change. But I would like to think they're in a good place, they, they, they're doing well, um, and we want to reward them with, with new deals. And look, our players are performing well, they're getting a bit of um, you know, press and attention, especially in a, ahead of a fixture like this at the weekend where we get a bit more attention, but that's only a good thing, isn't it? You know, that they're, they're performing well and they're getting recognised for it. Yeah, I mean, they, listen, they, whatever pats on the back they've had this season for the win at Swindon, they're coming back from adverse situations in league games and taking points from them games, it, I congratulate them and I say well done, but then we move on to the next game. So there's no good resting on your laurels because, like I said, whilst we beat Swindon 7-4, it means absolutely nothing on Sunday. Um, but I think the lads have got a good understanding of how we work as a staff now and what we expect. Um, and on more occasions than not, they produce the, the goods on the Saturday or the Tuesday or whenever it is we've played. So that's all we want. It's a different day, it's Sunday. But, um, so it was a good Sunday.